A man in rural Kansas is jailed for failure to appear over family's unpaid medical debt, and thousands of jobs remain unfilled amid ongoing caregiver shortage in Massachusetts. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, February 12, 2020. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. CBS News covered a story of a Coffeeville, Kansas family where the father was arrested and thrown into jail for failure to appear in court on unpaid medical bills. Trace and Heather Biggs' son, Lane, was diagnosed with leukemia when he was just five years old. At the same time, Heather suffered seizures from Lyme's disease. Heather said they had so many medical issues and it put them in a bracket that made insurance unattainable. It was either eating and having a home or paying the medical bills. Trace Biggs was working two jobs, but they fell behind on their medical bills and then the unthinkable happened. Trace Biggs went to jail for failing to appear in court for unpaid medical bills. His bail was $500. In rural Coffeyville, Kansas, where the poverty rate is twice the national average, attorneys have built successful law practices representing medical providers to collect debt owed by their neighbors. That law was put into place at an attorney's recommendation to the local judge. The attorney uses that law by asking the court to direct people with unpaid medical bills to appear in court every three months and state that they are too poor to pay in what is called a debtor's exam. If two hearings are missed, the judge issues an, an arrest warrant for contempt of court. Bail is set at $500. Attorneys say they get paid on what is collected. Technically, they're going to jail for contempt of court and failure to appear, not necessarily for unpaid debts directly. In most courts, bail money is returned when defendants appear in court, but in almost every case in Coffeyville, that money goes to pay attorneys and the medical debt his clients are owed. Many are raising constitutional concerns, calling it a, quote, jailhouse shakedown and criminalizing privatized debt. Lawmakers and stakeholders in Massachusetts are looking for solutions to a caregiver shortage that has left thousands of job vacancies at skilled nursing and home health agencies throughout the state. The workforce shortage was under discussion during a state hearing this week and included testimony from several nursing home and aging advocates. During the hearing, workers and officials blamed the shortage on low wages, lack of opportunities for advancement, the availability of better paying jobs, and federal restrictions on immigrants. Several state lawmakers have proposed increasing wages for caregivers through the state's Medicaid program to help address the caregiver shortage. The ongoing workforce shortage has been a key concern for the entire long-term care industry, and earlier this week, Leading Age named it a top policy priority. A December wage report also warned that providers will have to compete harder to attract caregivers after the average hourly wage that certified nursing assistants are willing to work increased. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.